So good morning, my YouTubers and everyone in the world. Today is December the 9th. The time is now 1022 a.m. It is going to be a beautiful Sunday all day. I'm actually pretty excited because I'm heading to a Christmas party later on tonight. And I will let you guys see my outfit once I get dressed. But moving forward, today's topic is going to be about when you start something, be fully determined to finish it. So let me repeat that again because I don't know if you guys heard me clearly. When you start something, no matter what it is that you're doing, no matter what it is that you're aiming for, be fully determined to finish it. I feel like a lot of times in life, um, people start things and they don't finish. You start school and life happens and that's your excuse for not finishing. You know what I'm saying? You you start a relationship um, I mean, but see, when it comes to relationships, it's a little, it's a little tricky because honestly speaking, you can start a relationship off, off really, really good. And then towards the end of the relationship, things just didn't work out. And sometimes that does happen. So when it comes to relationships, it's a little bit different, but guys, when you start a project, a new project, whatever you aim for goals that you want to accomplish, dreams that you want to manifest within your life, just know that all of that is possible. But when you start something, you have to be fully determined, <coughs> excuse me, to finish it. <coughs> excuse me. Whew. I woke up and I, I feel like my allergies was acting up this morning. But guys, I'm telling you, when you start any projects that you're starting, anything you're starting within your life, like whatever goals you want to um, transpire within your life, I mean, you have to be fully, fully determined to like finish it. So if you're going to start something, make sure you finish it. A lot of times we start stuff and then, you know, things happen in life. And next thing you know, four or five years done went by and it's like you still didn't jump back on the bandwagon. I mean, come on, you guys have to be fully determined to finish stuff when you start it. That's what life is about. Don't start something and then halfway through you saying, oh, it's too hard. It's too difficult. It's too time consuming. Certain things didn't work out. So now you're coming up with so many excuses for why you don't don't want to finish this. Okay, it's going to be hard sometimes. No one ever said life was going to be easy. No one said life was going to be that cut and dry. No one said life was going to be simple. So at the end of the day, okay, it's going to be bumps in the road. We got that. No problem. Go around the bumps. Go over the bumps slowly and continue to push forward. You know, but when you start something, don't just stop because things get a little difficult or, you know, it seems impossible or it's very time consuming. It's worth it. You're worth it. You know, once you realize that you're worth it and you deserve nothing but the best, you have to be fully determined to finish everything you start. You understand? And um, that's one thing I learned, you know, and this goes back to my story about, hold on one second. Excuse me, but this goes back to my story about being fully, um, you know, just determined and doing, putting a hundred and ten percent in everything that you do. See, when you put a hundred and ten percent in everything that you do, I mean, you're gonna be so determined to finish it that no matter what comes your way, you're gonna do what you have to do to finish it. I mean, that's just how it is. I remember one point in time when I was in high school and things, you know, it's not that, you know, I was always a smart young lady and everything like that. And I, I catch up fast, always finishing my work and stuff. My biggest challenge was getting up and just going every day. Sometimes I had days where I just didn't want to be in school. You know, I didn't want to be bothered with the nonsense that, you know, came with traveling and all that stuff. And, I, you know, I was becoming lazy mentally and physically I was just like I was over it so I ended up stop you know I stopped going to school and I was so close to graduating and stuff but that's what I'm telling you guys like you have to when you start something just be fully determined to finish it but to make a long story short at the end of the day I still ended up going back and I said you know what I need to get my GED once I obtained my GED I said you know what I'm not satisfied with just having that I want to get a college degree. And that's when I ended up going back to school. And I'm telling you guys, like, 
let me see, like maybe four or five months into me going to school to get my associate's degree, my brother ended up being killed, which I'm going to talk about in another video that I'm not going to discuss right now. But, um, yeah, he ended up, you know, he was, he was murdered and the school, you know, contacted me and they like, Hey, we understand your situation. Um, would you like to take some time off of school? And I thought to myself, I'm like, wow, you know, like they were considered considerate enough to call me and ask me would I like to take time off from school. And then I thought to myself, I said, no, that wouldn't be smart because honestly speaking, I felt like if I had a took time off, like I probably would have got so comfortable with my life again, just working a, a um, you know, a random job, whatever job I was working at at the time and just living with whoever I was living with at the time and things of that nature. And I told myself, I said, you know what? I have to finish this. So what I did was I channeled all that built up frustration, that hurt, that pain, that sorrow that was inside of me from what happened to my brother. And I put it into my work. So when I was writing, you know, essays about certain things that might have happened in my life, my brother was the main topic about two or three times. And I and I got an A plus, you know, on those um on those on those stories that I was able to tell. But this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Like, don't let anything stop you when you start something. Just be fully determined to finish it, you know, until the end. I started my business and it's not the easiest thing, especially when you, you know, you want to reach out to millions of people and let them know that this is who you are and this is what you have to offer and things don't work out, you know, immediately. It makes you feel like, okay, am I doing something wrong? Am I not working hard enough? Or do I just need to be patient and give it time and continue to do what I've been doing? So that's what I realized. It's like sometimes things are not going to, you know, go as planned immediately right away overnight you know it takes time it takes persistence it takes practice it takes consistent work sometimes to get to that point where you know everything is just flowing but to me I feel like I'm worth it I feel like I'm more than worth it so at the end of the day I know what it is that I want for my life and now I'm doing everything I have to do to get to that point where everything is working out for me so I mean even when things don't go right, and sometimes things just probably won't go right, it doesn't mean that you have to give up. It doesn't mean that you have to quit. You guys have to be fully determined when you start something to finish it. And if you know for sure that you're not going to be willing to finish something, then it's best not to even get involved. Don't even start it, you know, because now you're showing me that you're a quitter. See, back in the days when I was younger, and, you know, going to school and things of that nature. I mean, I had reasons why I had to stop, you know, I stopped going to school in 11th grade. I had to, you know, I wanted to get out of my mom's house. It was situations going on there. So I ended up not going to school and I worked two jobs. So that's where everything started. But I'm telling you guys, when you start something, be fully, fully determined to just take it all away. till you can't take it no more. You know what I'm saying? Put 110% in everything that you do and everything will work out. And, you know, put a little bit of yourself in everything that you do too. You know, put a, I, I finesse stuff. I put a little bit of Christine in this, a little bit of Christine in that. Like, I mean, that's, that's what you guys have to do, you know, to make stuff your own. And everything will work out. There's so many opportunities out here in life. And a lot of times people look for you know, the negative things or what can go wrong, but what can go right? You know, what could be perfectly fine for you? What could work for you? What can make your life happier and give your life more meaning and value? And this is how you got to start looking at things. So the moral of the story for today is when you start something, be fully, fully determined to finish it. Don't have do it. Don't have step it. It takes two feet. One, two. OK, put 110 percent in it. And when you start something, be fully, fully, fully determined to finish it no matter what. I mean, if you feel like you got to take time off for a month to give yourself time to breathe, then do that. But just know that you got to get back on track because you got stuff you got stuff to do. But yeah, um, I just had to vlog about that. Like I said, be fully, fully determined to finish stuff when you start it. I mean, that's just what it boils down to. 
But like I always say, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And of course, visit my website at shoploveronline.com. Until next time, let's be fully, fully determined to finish everything that we start. Peace.